For this morning's GRE Y Rock segment, we are talking all things Bills. Of course, back out on the field later this morning at St. John Fisher University. Just one week left already flying by for training camp before the first preseason game. We have Todd Harrison here, the director of camp operations. I know you've been very busy, yeah, busiest time of the year, so thank you for stopping by. It's such a huge event and what has turned out to be, of course, now with the Bills yep. among the Super Bowl favorites. What does it take for you and the team to pull this off every summer? I mean, I think it takes a couple of things. First is a uh, really talented staff and a lot of communication. So uh, if we were just a bunch of very talented people in, in the the chefs and the, and the field staff and the maintenance facilities groups and everybody else and nobody was communicating, then we would struggle. And if we were very talented and not able to communicate, then we wouldn't get anything done. So I think that it takes both of them and then a bit of consistency in the group. So uh, the the preparation happens for 12 months or so. Uh, after they leave, we'll work on our side and then uh, get our ducks in a row and, and debrief on how things went and so will the Bills. Uh, and then as we get into 2024, we'll start to discuss, or 2023 each year, we'll start talking about the next year's camp. And so each of the groups of people uh, once the team arrives, handles their business, uh, begins to prepare for the next day or the next week or the next event or things like that. And so it's really a talented set of people on campus uh, and in the bills and then communication and familiarity between the two groups. We know the big draw, of course, is seeing the players up close, getting the autographs, seeing the actual practice, but you also have to focus on other fan events, different things they can do. So what do you have going on this summer? Yeah, the uh, there are a lot of, well, obviously each day we have four or five 5,000 people that are on campus uh, for to watch the practice itself and so we on campus is at Fisher have to understand what the team needs from a nutrition perspective or from a facility perspective to make sure that everything that they have we're, we're really a mini one bills drive and so we need to take all of the precautions and, and make sure all the things are ready for the team itself uh, and then the fans obviously come in uh, daily and so we it's the first chance that the team the, the fans get to see the team mm -hmm. and so there would be an opportunity for them to be much more up close than they would be on a game day it's kind of like a practice practice round yeah. at the PGA Championship on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the, the people are doing their work, but on Tuesday and Wednesday, you get to be up and, and sign autographs and be closer. So our focus is to make sure that the Bills uh, and their different groups are able to accommodate the needs of the of the fans and get different community groups or corporate groups or just general fans as close as they can to engage with the players. And finally, this relationship's been going on for two decades. You've been involved in more than half of these, but some NFL teams, they build their, they stay at their own site, maybe outside the stadium, their practice fields. The Bills keep coming here. Why do you think that is? I think that uh, at first it was to regionalize the brand. Buffalo in Western New York is not a market like Dallas or like Los Angeles or New York. So the idea 25, 22 years ago was to uh, regionalize the group and, and make sure that Buffalo and the Bills were drawing from the corporate base and the fan base from Western New York, so Rochester, and even into central New York, Syracuse, and then also southern Ontario. So moving the group into Rochester served that purpose. And then as they arrived, the, the campus itself, uh, there's a proximity for the players to get from the field to the dining hall to their dorms to their meeting spaces very quickly and it is easy to get to for fans in a number of those parts and so I think it's a testament to the quality of the facilities and, and the and the people that we have on campus that we can really act like a, a, a mini one bills drive that the the fields are NFL quality that the food is NFL quality that the living spaces are NFL quality and that we can accommodate what an NFL organization needs and all the fans coming here then they get to enjoy everything Rochester has to offer during an off day or in, in the afternoon thank you again for coming in good luck with the rest of camp and uh, then we'll look ahead to next year uh, we're getting closer and closer to real football we've got more information about everything going on with the bills posted with this interview at rochesterfirst.com